again another National Heroes Day when Jamaicans celebrate the lives of those great men and women who have contributed to our great nation. A national hero is someone who beyond that has made significant and positive contributions to the growth and development of society and represents all of us. We honor our heroes through songs, symbols, and sights. That being said, here are some places named after our national heroes. First up, Gordon House. Gordon House was named after the right excellent George William Gordon. It was built in 1960 and houses the country's upper and lower houses. Do you know that long road that's filled with traffic whenever you're in a hurry? No, not Hope Road or Hagley Park Road, but Marcus Garvey Drive. Named after the right excellent Marcus Mosiah Garvey, the roadway was recently widened from four to six lanes. Yes, lots of space for lots more traffic. The Norman Manley International Airport and the Norman Manley Law School. The right excellent Norman Manley has not one, but two locations named in his honor. The Norman Manley Law School at the University of the West Indies opened its doors to its first students in 1973. The Norman Manley International Airport. While our aviation history began in 1930, Jamaica's first commercial flight began in 1966 with our national carrier, Air Jamaica. The right excellent Sir William Alexander Bustamante has three locations named in his honor the Bustamante Highway, Port Bustamante, and the Bustamante Children's Hospital that was established in 1963. Next up, Sam Sharp Square. In 1976, Charles Square in Montego Bay was renamed Sam Sharp Square in honor of our national hero, the right excellent Samuel Sharp. Granny Nanny of Nanny Town. Nanny Town was named after Nanny the great Maroon leader who brought the Maroons many of their victories during the First Maroon War. Built around 1723, the town was repeatedly attacked by British troops in 1730, 1731, 1732, and several times in 1734. While the Morant Bay Courthouse in St. Thomas was not named after Paul Gogol, his statue stands in front as a proud reminder of his contribution to nation building. <laughs> 